Hello everyone. Welcome to your own channel Food Tech Network. So we are again together to discuss a new experiment in our experimental series of adulteration of milk products. So today we will discuss about determination of presence of starch in our milk sample. Before starting this experiment, I would like to give you a background or a preview that why do people add starch into the milk? We all know the starch is a carbohydrate and it has an inherent property of making the solutions appear more thicker by increasing its viscosity. We all know that if we add starch into a milk, since milk, I have already taught you that milk is also a solution, it is a colloidal system. So by the addition of starch into this milk, the milk would appear more thicker and it would increase its overall SNF value. SNF value as I have already told you in my previous video is nothing but milk solid non-fat. All the solid components of milk excluding the fat is called as SNF or solid not fat component of milk. So by addition of starch the SNF value of milk increases and the milk appears to be more thicker. For example if someone has adulterated milk with water and it is appearing that uh, milk is little less viscous ya fir doodh thoda patla lag raha hoga then by addition of starch the milk would regain its overall viscosity and consistency. But since it is after all not a good practice it is a malpractice as it economically cheats the consumers and diverts them of actual SNF. Actual SNF just say lactose, casein, lactalbumin just say important proteins or carbohydrates ke jage. If you are intaking starch then it has no use. Therefore FSSAI has strictly prohibited this unlawful addition or adulteration of starch into the milk. So now let us see how do we perform this experiment. So for the performing this experiment we would need to first of all prepare the sample of milk for which we would take a specific known volume such as 5 or 10 ml into of the milk and incubate until it attains 37 degrees Celsius. So first of all we will attain 37 degrees Celsius attain karana padega temperature after which we would need to cool it down because this temperature Welcome to Food Tech Network. So, as you all know, today we are going to perform the test of determination of starch in our milk sample. So, let us see what all we require. First of all, we would need some of the milk samples which we need to test. The reagents for uh, uh, starch uh, test would be this iodine solution which we prepare by uh, pouring some crystals of iodine in the potassium iodide solution and mixing it in a good manner. So this is our KI solution for testing the presence of starch. As I have already told in my video that uh, if the starch is present in the milk then it would form complex with this solution and a deep blue color would be obtained. So to have the sample prepared we kept it in the water bath and we took two different samples of milk. Now let us find which among these is adulterated. It has reached around a temperature of 37 to 40 degrees Celsius and we will add iodine now. Let me put it into this rack. Open it carefully. Add a few drops of iodine. As you can see among both these solution, this solution is gaining little bit deep or pale blue color and it would gain the color within a passage of time. As I already told that the complex form between starch and potassium iodide is a function of temperature. So as this solution will cool down, it would gain deep blue color and that would signify that it has starch present in it as an adulterant. So this was all about our today's video. 